गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर सेवन ऑफ साइंस दैट इज एनिमल वर्ल्ड टूडे वी विल डू द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज माइग्रेशन सो इन दिस वे वी विल कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू दिस चैप्टर और एनी कंफ्यूजन ऑन एनी टॉपिक यू आर फ्री टू आस्क सो वी विल डू द लास्ट टॉपिक एज वेल एज स्टार्ट सम एक्सरसाइज दिस इज द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ your periodic exam syllabus also so after this chapter we will do the revision work so let's start the topic student today's topic is migration migration is the last topic of this chapter 7 animal world let's read it and try to understand some animals move over greater distance to avoid harsh weather condition means the first reason why the animals move from one place to another place because they want to protect themselves from harsh weather condition harsh weather condition is the condition the particular weather which do not suit the animal is called harsh weather suppose a animal cannot survive in a summer season so whenever the in a um, uh, place uh, where the animal is staying if the weather changes and the summer season came there is a need for the animal to move from that place so to avoid the harsh weather condition animals move from their place to another place the mass movement of animals from one place to another in search of favorable environment is called migration so when the animals move in a group to search a favorable environment condition favorable environment condition the a uh, condition which suits them like where the place where they get easily the food they easily get they get proper uh, breeding ground or the weather is uh, weather suits them so these are the favorable condition which the animal need and for that animal need to move from their places so when the animal move from one place to another in a group to search a favorable environment is called migration animals migrate in search of food either they are not getting proper food on the place where they are staying so that's the reason they need to move breeding grounds the uh, the place where they were staying earlier is not safe for them or their kids so they need to change it so in search of a proper breeding ground and to escape harsh weather this i have already explained you that the weather keeps on changing and it might be possible that the changed weather do not suits the animal so to protect themselves from the harsh weather they need to move from that place okay now siberian cranes migrate to india every year in winter they fly back to siberia with the onset of summer so you all have seen siberian cranes you find these siberian cranes near sangam in varanasi also you find these type of birds so they need to come in india when the winter uh, just is, uh, keeps on starting and when the summer uh, is onset they need to move back to siberia so here the reason of migration of siberian bird is to protect themselves from harsh weather might be possible in siberia the weather do not suit these siberian cranes that's why in winter they came to the india and whenever the winter get over they move back to siberia now arctic tern arctic tern travel from arctic to antarctica twice a year it covers a distance of around 35000 km arctic tern is another a bird it moves from arctic to antarctica twice a year means two times a year it moves from arctic to antarctica and uh, in this movement the arctic tern travels around 35000 km this much of distance by traveling this much of distance it moves from arctic to antarctica now monarch butterflies another uh, migrating uh, animal monarch butterfly fly from canada to mexico here is the picture of monarch butterfly it moves from canada to mexico in the winter season so in the specifically in the winter season it moves from canada to Mex mexico so this is also a kind of migration now locust are harmful migratory insect 
locust is a harmful migratory insect you can see over here the picture of a locust somehow it looks like a grasshopper they migrate in swarms and destroy standing crops so they generally destroy the standing crops they are harmful for the uh, crops so it is also a migratory animal now european eel European eel swims all the way to Sargasso Sea in the western part of Atlantic Ocean to lay their eggs. So, gen, uh, just to lay their eggs, they just uh, move from um, all the way to the Sargasso Sea in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean. They travel uh, to the Sargasso Sea just to lay their egg. The baby eel then take three years to swim back to the European E river. Now, after laying their eggs, the eel uh, died, and the baby eel, after three years, means while traveling of three years of distance, they swim back to the European river. So, European eel to travel, or you can say swims where to the Sargasso Sea just to lay their eggs. Means here the reason of migration is. To for breeding ground so students in this way we have completed the topic migration i hope the topic is clear to you all if any queries you are free to ask me now we will do a small exercise over here this you have to do in your copies let's discuss it first fish breathe with the help of nose gills blow holes or fins so obviously the answer will be gills with the help when the water flows over the gills it absorbs the oxygen and uh, just ex uh, uh, you can say remove or you can say exclude the carbon dioxide which of the following animal lives in fresh water frog octopus seahorse and whale all three of them are uh, uh, saline water or you can say marine water animals but here the frog is a fresh water animal which of the following animal has cuticle as a body covering ant lizard whale and sheep no sheep has wool on its body whale has a scale and lizard also is a kind of uh, reptile so ant insect on the body of the insect we find cuticle now which of the following animals breathe through moist skin frog fish whale or penguin obviously the frog when the frog is on the land it breathes with the help of lungs but when the frog is on the in the water it breathes with the help of the moist skin what help a cockroach to breathe nose lung spiracle or moist skin obviously spiracle uh, cockroach is a kind of insect and all insect breathe with the help of the spiracle which is present on the side of the insect body so students in this way we have completed this chapter this exercise you have to do in your copies which because we have discussed in the class so you have to do in your copy and post in the class group so thank you class if you have any problem or any queries regarding this chapter you are free to ask me thank you